this is the story of the couple um, that uh, the racist couple that participated in a in a celebration of the Confederate flag and their celebrations went too far. Um, they terrorized the birthday party of a child and uh, subsequently, now there's a lot more to the story, uh, but subsequently they got sentenced to a combined total of 35 years. Uh, uh, Jose Torres and Kayla Norton. Uh, Torres is 26 years old. Norton is 25. They were convict convicted earlier this month. And on yesterday, their sentences came down. Georgia Superior Court Judge William McLean sentenced Torres to 13 years in prison uh, and Norton to serve six years in prison. Uh, so actually, I guess I have my math wrong. It's 19 combined years uh, that they will actually have to serve both face probation after their release. Um, so these this is not a lot of the headlines that I'm seeing from this story are incomplete. And it's giving room for people to feign um, disgust with our judicial system, our, our justice system. And there's plenty of reasons to be upset with our justice system. But I'm not going to shed a single tear over these two because this involved a couple that pulled a shotgun out and threatened to kill people at a birthday party, including children. On top of just their hate driven uh, crashing of the party with the Confederate flag uh, using racial slurs. So this was this essentially became a hate crime. Um, and it also uh, there's a law in Georgia. I, I, I want to pull up if I can find that information. Um, but essentially it, they were tried for for aggravated assault. Uh, they treat this was treated like a terroristic um, event. I mean, and on top of that, the other people that were involved actually pleaded out and got far less uh, a, a less sentence, um, a lesser sentence. That's the phrase I'm looking for. So this couple decided to try their luck, and they both got sentenced uh, to a combined 19 years. Uh, in prison. So, you know, the you know, the this all started because they wanted to make people, quote unquote, respect the flag. And in their attempts to make people respect the flag, they crashed this African-American birthday party for a child and threatened them with a shotgun. Why are people, and it's amazing, I, you would expect conservatives to actually be like, this is something that's horrific, but I'm actually seeing some progressives who are shedding tears because they feel like the sentence is too long or too harsh. What's there to shed a tear over? You know, somebody put, I mean, this could have gone so many ways sideways. This could have ended very tragically. This, if, if had anyone uh, had anyone at that party tried to confront them, someone could, could have ended up dead because of the hubris of this couple and everyone else that was involved, right? So, you know, based on everything that they were charged with, they should have been smart enough to plead, but they didn't. And now they have 19 years. I don't see anything to cry about here. I think justice, <laughs> a rare occasion that justice has been served. We'll see if they actually serve the, the full length of the terms, but, uh, you know, it's open up, open and shut case moving on.